What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Forza Motorsport 7 in our ESDA vet. So, if you notice the wheel cam is a little bit further back, that's because we are going to be doing something on the channel today very special. And that is, we are going to be unboxing a gift from NRG Innovations. It's a, uh, a late Christmas gift. I don't know what's in the box. Um, I can tell you that it is most likely a wheel. Actually, it is a wheel. And it is some sort of Alcatara. That's all I know about it. I know nothing else about the wheel. I don't know what color it is. I don't know uh, what dish it is, what style it is. So it's kind of a big surprise for me to see. So we're going to be doing a full opening and taking a look at it here today. So we're going to get right into, I think, uh, this box and this package because I'm very excited to open this up. So, like I said, we got a big box here from uh, NRG Innovations. So we're going to open this thing up, see what we got inside. Like I said, I know nothing really about what's in here. I kind of, you know, have a slight idea, but I don't know anything about what's really in it. So, I'm just excited as, you know, I can be because I don't know what's in here. So we're gonna take in this, open this up, as I knock my mic out of its place. Ooh, so we got some, uh, we got some, we got some other goodies in here. What do we got going on here? We got some, uh, looks like we got some quick release air fresheners. Those are pretty dope. Not gonna lie. What does it smell like? Ooh, it's like a lemon smell. NRG paper quick release air fresheners. That's sick. Definitely gonna use some of these in my car. What else we got in here? It looks like we got a uh, NRG Innovations shirt. I actually don't have one of these, so this is actually uh, quite amazing. Did not expect to get anything like this. Oh, look at the back. No two, no life, NRG Innovations. That is sick. I love this shirt. This is actually a really cool looking shirt. Like I said, big thank you to NRG for uh, sending me this little uh, care package and uh, well, now I'm excited to see what's in uh, what's in the box here. It's a really pretty box, actually. So we're gonna get this thing out of here and uh, get rid of this other box. Chuck that back there. This is a very pretty box. Not gonna lie, this is uh, a lot more in-depth box than I thought it was gonna be. Got the really nice energy logo on the sides and on the front. Oh, this thing is, um, I'm very curious. Let's see what we got in here. Oh boy. Nothing up there. This is a really cool box. Thank you for trusting our brand, of course. We're not gonna need the horn release stuff, but the moment of truth. What is behind this? Oh man, this, this looks so sick. I'm so excited for this. Look at this. Deep dish, black, NRG, Alcatara wheel. Oh, the engraved NRG on the sides. Oh, this is definitely gonna feel so nice on that rig. This is a really nice wheel. Like I said, I had no idea what I was getting in this box, but this is a very gorgeous wheel. Gonna definitely take a little bit more in-depth look on this thing. We got the uh, the suede little uh, hang tag with the NRG embroidered logo on it. So this is a gorgeous wheel. I can't thank NRG enough for being a, a partner on the channel and a sponsor you know, hooking me up with the, the seat on my rig and now another amazing wheel for the rig. I do like the black on black. The suede feels really nice. And uh, the deep dish is definitely gonna be really cool for drifting my wheel, if you know now, is a, pretty much a flat wheel. Let's get this box out of the way. It's a flat wheel, whereas this is uh, more of a dish wheel. So it's gonna be closer to me. It's gonna feel amazing with the, with the suede. So, I actually just can't wait to put this on the rig for right now and uh, give it a whirl. But uh, 
I think we uh, should do some beauty shots of this first, and a little uh, a little bit more of a look on this, and uh, before we uh, go putting this on the rim, on the rig. So this thing is so sick. So we did get the wheel hooked up to the rig. We do have it just bolted straight on. We didn't use the beauty ring or the horn. I call it a beauty ring, but the outer ring that holds the horn in place currently right now because I did not have longer screws. I do have them, but I don't have them with me. So we'll be putting this on later. But for testing purposes and getting used to it, we do have it set like this. So the biggest thing I can tell that not only the, uh, you know, the Alcatara suede feel is based on my other rim, when I would drive or race or anything like that, my thumbs would hurt because it's right on the metal bar of the spokes. It's right on the metal spoke. So like gripping it and stuff like that would hurt. And this rim having the nice uh, Alcatara suede edges there has a nice place for my thumb to grip. So it's nice and comfortable. When I squeeze it, it has a nice, uh, nice little feel to it rather than just, you know, this hard like wood grain wheel, which I do love my mint green Nero Chrome wheel, but this is more of a, a proper proper racing wheel, a proper drift wheel with the nice deep dish spokes and you know the nice Alcatara feel. And it, it kinda has a very small presence of the stock G920 wheel with you know the nice little thumb thumb notches, but of course obviously the G920 wheel could fit inside of this rim. It is a 350 millimeter rim with a three inch drop. So biggest thing looks amazing first of all the black on black with the alcatara i'm going to be wearing gloves when i use this rim so that i don't you know discolor damage or anything the, the alcatara suede with uh, the skin the you know, oil for my skins and stuff stuff like that but also because it, it's i got a nice grip feel with this right now and i can't wait to rip this wheel and have a little fun with it this is my other one we put this aside for right now we're gonna be rocking the new energy alcatara wheel big thank you to energy innovations for that little uh, dragon in the corner from uh, Deals Gap. And uh, of course, you guys have seen in other videos, there's a Corona sitting here, which I have been drinking this time. And a lot of people in the handbrake video were like, there's a full Corona there. I mean, you should stop recording and take a drink. Well, this is one I have been drinking. So we're gonna rip this, give this rim a test and see how it feels. And what better way to do that in a energy sponsored driver's car of Ryan Literal. This uh, livery and tune was made by Jamwich, member of TUS, one of my teammates. So. We got it all set up. We're gonna run the Long Beach section because uh, getting hyped for the new season of uh, Formula D. So uh, we're gonna go full send on this and see how this uh, see how this rim feels. Now, this is not a tune I've tried before, so I'm not sure how this tune's gonna work, but uh, we're gonna send it anyways. So overall, the wheel feels so much nicer because of the thumb grips and the uh, the Alcatara suede gives me a nice grip feel, but I can also slide it around if I need to. And uh, I feel like it's actually lighter than that uh, mint green and narrow chrome wood grain one I have. I can check the actual weight on it and let you guys know for sure if you guys are very curious if on the weight. I think it's actually lighter than my other one, but it feels nicer because it's closer to me because of the drop down, but it also feels nicer because the spokes are not kind of in the way, I guess you would say. There's kind of more of a clean room around it because the spokes are dropped back. So for me, it feels, well, first of all, it feels like a proper, a proper race car, a proper drift car. And uh, it just looks like a proper one too. So we're gonna rip the Long Beach section here, see if we can't uh, do Ryan Littoral's car uh, some justice. That Voodoo rides an RG240.
Not too bad on initiation. Probably I hesitate a little bit too much. Oh, we're going to hit that wall. That was a little offline in that second section. But nonetheless, we got a full pull. And uh, the wheel does feel nice. It does rotate a little easier than my other one does, which it may have to do with the fact that I said it feels lighter. Um, I could be mistaken, but so don't quote me on that. I will, I will weigh them, and uh, I will let you guys know, you know, the weight of the wheels versus the factory wheel as well, because I know a lot of people are asking how much the uh, stock G920 wheel weighs. So I will do some weights on all three of these wheels just to uh, give you guys a good idea. This rim does feel so nice, though. I love the uh, the suede feeling because it gives me that nice grip when I need it. I can grab it and grip to it and pull the wheel around if I need to. And it just, it, it looks amazing and I can't thank NRG Innovations enough for hooking me up with this amazing wheel. And uh, of course the seat that I have on the rig as well. Kind of, now I got a wheel that matches the seat, the black on black with suede or Alcatara. And uh, it's definitely a, uh, a very cool thing. This is, like I said, this is the Alcatara wheel. Um, my seat does have suede on it, on the edges. They, I believe they have uh, a suede version of this rim as well with red stitching on it. It's a little little less expensive for the premium suede versus the Alcatara suede. Oh my god, this wheel feels so nice. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is, uh, this has just made my, my rig feel totally different and just by changing the rim around and the style of it with having a deeper dish and the uh, the different style with the, uh, the thumb notches right here, which is another thing I'm super excited about because now when I'm resting here for like racing, I have a nice place to, this is the car to be racing, I have a nice place to rest my thumbs and I could race for a lot longer period of time because my thumbs are not on that metal bar. Ooh, speed wobble. So we're gonna run this again. Hopefully I'm doing a Ryan Littleall's car justice and uh, you know because he's on this game and he's a big player in the Forza community and I got a chance to drive with him I would love to get a chance to drive with him on Forza and uh, throw doors with him you know being as he's a big energy sponsored driver um, be kind of cool you know energy sponsored YouTuber going against an energy sponsored pro driver in a, in a sim game Ooh, you didn't need that tail light right Ryan my bad because there's no way I would probably right now ever go against him in real life with a real car because I don't have one yet. Hopefully getting one soon. But uh, I could go against him toe-to-toe -to -toe in a sim game. That would be pretty cool. I know I would say if you guys want to see me go against Ryan Litterall, let me know in the comment section down below and I would love for that to happen. But I know he's kind of a hard man to uh, hard man to get a hold of on the game. I probably should stay on his... Uh, Instagram and stuff and try and catch him in one of his live streams. Definitely gonna try and do that, but Ryan, if you're watching, let's do it. Thanks some tours, man. It'd be sweet. So, we're gonna throw this one more time here, and uh, that'll do it here for this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll have what you found in the description box below. As always, once again, a big thank you to NRG Innovations. That was a really early initiation. I'm gonna have to hold that out. Big thank you to NRG Innovations for being a longtime supporter of the channel and a sponsor of myself and the channel. And a big thank you for the rim. It's definitely uh, an amazing upgrade to my rig. And I can't wait to continue using this more. NRG needs. Shameless plug. Um, and uh, so like I said, big thank you to them. Big thank you to you guys for coming back and watching and supporting the channel. We do appreciate all the support. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. And I will see you guys on the next one. I hope Ryan's really not mad that I cracked his taillight. Could you imagine? Oh, I almost wrecked his other taillight. Alright, I'm going to stop before I wreck his car even more.